So I, I also be a talk like this. I don't know if uh, anyone was that talk. But anyway, now I am the host. So with me today we have uh, Professor Kara Suryanayan Vikram. He is assistant professor in the uh, Department of Material Science at Iowa Delhi. And I think he has completed around two years. Two years. Right? Two years. So before joining this, he did his postdoctoral research at Pokhari National Lab in the USA. And he did his PhD from uh, Purdue University, Malkadi, USA. Before that, he worked uh, some years, three, four years in uh, BHEL, which is uh, the Khamenei Government Enterprise in Hyderabad, which is our entity department. And uh, he did his bachelor's degree again in materials and engineering from IIT Kanpur. Uh, and actually, we both were together. We were matched. So, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, we need a long presentation. Yeah. So it's uh, so today I think he, I think he can tell better give a good introduction about what he's going to talk about. But mostly a material perspective on electrochemical storage, which means batteries and all, which are very popular, as you know, you know, EV vehicles and all are very popular. So material perspective will give on those uh, batteries and storage elements. Okay. So let's maybe give a
in the right school. If they were one of, like, one of my other brothers from the Indian Engineering. Okay. They were a student from my Okay. So, please please see more about it. Good. So, it's like a lot of IT rookie folks. Materials engineering folks are there. Even Delhi has one. Delhi has one. Very good. Interesting. Anyone else? Did you ever heard about this department in mechanical engineering? So now, computer science, civil engineering, coffee classic department. But nevertheless, this is also a very old department. Indeed, I can say that this is the first engineering department when the civilization has started. आप यकीन नहीं करते हो, आप बोलेंगे कि उस समय तो what techno there is no IIT is nothing right, and how are you claiming that there is an engineering community which has started like long time ago? So typically the all the civilization, I mean whether you look from the European perspective or whether you are looking from the Indian perspective, anything, you always compare the civilization with something called like materials. So let me start with this slide. अगर आप देखते हो, the first stage itself we are calling it as stone, right? Lot of tools, which are basically are made of stone, and then earlier we were like hunters, gatherers, right? And then the civilization has started, agriculture has started. So in order to in order to do the agriculture and other stuff, the first preliminary thing what people have started is with the stone, right? And then as the civilization is building up. We are calling something age called as bronze age. So here the discovery of copper has happened. And then copper mixing with tin, copper mixing with zinc. And of course, you can also call it as bronze kya hota hai? Copper. Yes, I know. And what are the elements in it? Copper and tin. I think that person who has named it right, he might be as a fascination of this bronze. At that time, brass was also there, copper zinc alloy was there, specifically zinc was there, so they can even put a quality of zinc alloy or zinc age too. So it's just a modern pleasure, nothing apart, but at that time the discovery of these metals have already happened. And then when we have moved to a certain period, this is the industrial time, where the iron and steel making we have started, and then you can see this much amount of infrastructure which we have seen, right? What is the current age? Which material you can actually correlate to the current age? Carbon. 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 Can you tell me? Carbon. Carbon is what? Silicon age. Wow, excellent. Who is it, boy? Perfect. So yeah, so carbon, silicon. Again, he loves silicon, so he is calling it as silicon age. Maybe if you become like a very famous guy, you can name it as carbon age, right? Or electrical age. But here, our material is not here. Little bit biased, right? Especially in mice. Right? So, don't say much. But yeah, so you can see that see, the discovery of this agent itself is related to the material. That's why we are claiming something as the Department of Materials Engineering is especially the oldest department when the civilization has started. I can claim that. Right? कौन बोल रहा नहीं? एनीवन वो डिसेग्रीन विथ मी अरे यार कौन यार आई नॉट योर टीचर एनीवे मैं नंबर भी नहीं देने वाला हूँ आपको यू सी डिसेग्रीन राइट एंड यू सी से लाइक नहीं मेरे तो हम हमारे लिए तो इसमें इंजीनियर नहीं है वी कैन स्टिल हैव लाइक कंपनी इस कंपनी तो फैंस इ Science has started first or engineering has started first? Engineering. 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 Science. Okay, science how many people are? Very good, yeah. Okay, how many people are engineering? How many people are engineering? It's a little neutral, right? Something like engineering science. That is also new terminology which you can use. Yeah, how many people are? How many people are? हथियार पहले बनाया था कि पोस्ट पहले बनाया था एक्जैक्ट हथियार बनाया था दैट इज़ द लॉजिक बिहाइंड इट सो व्हेन यू आर मेकिंग द स्टोन यू डोंट नो व्हाट इज़ पोस्ट एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स राइट इट केम आउट ऑफ़ प्रैक्टिस राइट सो टिपिकली इट इज़ अ गुड थिंग लाइक लॉ ऑफ़ इंजीनियरिंग डिस्कवरीज़ हैव हैपेंड फर्स्ट 
and then they have breakdown to science and then they have used again science to develop immunity. Right? Make sense? So we need actually brilliant engineers right now for this country. Of course, we need scientists also. But then whatever science we are developing at the lab scale needs to be converted into something at the industrial scale. You should be able to like look in the entrepreneurship, try to sell, sell the technology, develop the technology. And when you develop the technology, then obviously the country is going to progress. And also I just want to give one uh, specific uh, one over here. So if you see this line, right? This line is different for different uh, continents for that matter, or for that matter like Europe, this line is and for India, this ages have already started earlier compared to what the Europe has. But then now currently, whatever technology the US is developing, we are a little bit behind that. But we are trying to catch up. Right? So, this is not a specific line which is which should be related to all the countries. It could vary from for different countries. But now you can see that the technology is much more important. Of course, the science is also important. You need to understand the basic science and then you should be able to convert everything into technology. Right? So that is the basic premises what we are trying to set up for the, just to give an introduction for the Department of Materials Engineering. Right? The thing what we want to do next is like, we want to take some of these materials or currently we are speaking to some things like metals and see like how we can store energy in a chemical form or chemical form we want to convert into electrical energy. This is what we are going to demonstrate today because the numbers are, uh, I mean we have good numbers. So probably we do it in slightly like maybe in the batches and uh, already my students are, uh, they are setting up the system. So let me ask you this, what is a battery? Uh, yes, yes, you do. Uh, yeah. So a battery is something that stores chemical energy and then converts it into electrical energy. Perfect. Very good. Up what's the class? It's fine. Uh, tenth. Tenth class. Very good. Good yeah. Very nice. Interesting. So the question I have is that do you know the components of the battery? The copper battery, that is one type of battery. Lithium ion battery, which is like you heard a lot in the news, and this currently is a state of the art. In every electrical vehicle, lithium ion battery they are using, right? All Ola, Ola, Ola scooter also started, right? With lithium ion battery pack. Can you say that again? Hydrogen battery. This is the Okay. Interesting. Any other batteries? Silver zinc, metal batteries, and I have a Very good, yeah. Ah, because lead storage battery. Lead storage battery. Classic battery also. Very good. Classic battery. Lead storage battery. Where exactly you used to use the lead storage battery? Cars and cars. Perfect. Perfect. Very good, yeah. Apple ko battery kono hai? Okay. So the next question which I have is that when I ask about the components of the battery, so have you heard anything about the specific details about the electrochemistry? For example, like anode, cathode, electrolyte, everything. Separator here. Hey, what are you, man? Which class? Eleventh class. When I was there, I was nine hours more of those separated in my PhD. The value of the is something what is separate. Interesting, yeah? Very nice. Already you are like a technocrat. Good. So, what we do is that we are going to show something like, as someone said earlier, especially when you gave the definition of the battery, right? There is a chemical energy storage which we can convert into the electrical part. We will demonstrate that. But then the emphasis what we want to give especially from the materials engineering perspective is that we use the same material but however we do some kind of modification especially the engineering part, the processing part we are going to change and then you will see like is it going to affect any of your electrical properties. 
asking from you. So for a time being when I mean like electrical properties, we are only going to deal with the voltage. Voltage of the so let us start with some of the very I think already some of the batteries there. Gitterman batteries there, anode, cathode, there is something like electrolyte, and this one is really unexpected. Yeah. Separator of the whole I thought like I used use that word. So smart. So separator is there. So these are the components of the battery. And anyway, we are discussing this much. Let us discuss one more aspect of it. What happens at anode? Or what happens at cathode? Oxidation is Oxidation happens at anode. Reduction at cathode. Perfect. What actually happens in separator? Nothing. Ion cycle. Ion cycle. Ion cycle. Perfect. There is also two. So basically, separator name itself says that we are separating something. We are separating probably anions and cations. And although someone said like it is basically allowing anions to move on one direction, cations to move on another direction. Right? Correct. Let us say, just let us say that if we are removing completely the separator and we are putting this anode and cathode together, what will happen? The character internal Unstable. 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 Temperature of the solution will rise, okay? Anything else? Something like memory effect. Memory effect. Something like that. Like it will start with something. Memory effect. 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 Suddenly you want to know which of the current, what will you do? You will take the bulb, you will put a coil inside it and then you will go to put this bulb and suddenly everything is gone. Start the circuit and then zero will be at that happy ending. Okay? So that is how the start circuit actually happens. So that's why we need something like a separator. It may be there or it may not be there. This is not required. Still we are trying to maintain that gap. Your battery is intact. If once you are removing that separator or you are not maintaining any gap, you are actually putting them together, then your battery will not work anymore. It is going to get short separated. And as someone said, like temperature of the electrolyte is going to increase, right? And then that could happen because internal heating can start up and then the temperature could increase. Even for that matter, when you start putting any battery into operation too, internal heating can happen and temperatures could increase. Okay? So one part of the other component which we did not discuss is the electrolyte. Let's say that if I don't have an electrolyte, do you think that still we can make a battery? Some of that something, something, metal is battery is never done. What is the rationale behind it? Why do you say metal is battery? Is there any electrolyte in metal is battery? It's just surrounding it. Surrounding it. There is no electrolyte. Anyone else? So actually in the metal layer battery there is an electrolyte. All we are doing is that we are actually changing our cathode. Instead of some metal, we are actually having A. So still you have an electrolyte. So in order to build a battery, you actually need especially two important components, anode cathode, which we typically call it as electrodes. Right? You already know this. Terminal because you need to connect something where the electron should flow. Right? And then there is an important thing called an electrolyte where ion should flow. Right? So there are two moments, especially you need to accommodate for the electrons, which you can do it from the external connection and with the ion in the electrolyte itself. And then in order to have this ion and electronic moment itself, you need to have two electrons. So these are the basic four components of battery. For that matter, these are the basic four components of any electrochemical system. It's not just the battery. 
Someone has said like hydrogen battery. It is not typically hydrogen battery. What we are talking about is like hydrogen storage or typically something like a fuel cell. Right? Have you heard about fuel So fuel cell, fuel cell is also like you can put hydrogen into it and oxygen from the other end and then it can have a chemical reaction and it can push through it through outside. But then it is going to generate some energy and that energy can be converted into mechanical energy and then you can use it for your cars and any kind of waste This is the basic structure. Right? So coming to the some of the historical facts. So his name is basically scientist from Italy. His name is Volta. Ah, Alexander. It's tough to teach this class. So I appreciate it. So Alexander Volta. So he is here. And then he is the one actually technologically has put something together. Something like the first battery which we have seen. I think um, I don't remember exactly when he has done it, but uh, maybe in the 18th century, if I'm not wrong. But then, what he tries to do is that, there someone earlier has said that copper zinc nitride. Is that what the copper zinc? Ah. So, one electrode is actually copper, and then the other electrode is zinc, and that is the pile stack which they have, the copper zinc, copper zinc, copper zinc they have. And then in between they started putting an electrolyte, which is sulfuric acid. Right. Then what typically happens is that now your copper, I mean especially in this case, uh, uh, you are having sulfuric acid, so there is an evolution of hydrogen in the system. We will so we'll not get into the equations and other stuff, but I will just give you the cathodic and anodic reaction. Something like hydrogen is going to evolve. And then what you actually offer with an anode acid? Yeah. 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 Right. So, the chance what it has is that basically copper should reduce. Mm. Right. So, basically, there should be some kind of reduction reaction which should happen. Plus 2 to 0. Suppose you have something like C 2 plus in the system, then it will go to C. Right. And that is how the initial cell is made. Okay. But these are not the only initial electrochemical systems which they have come up with. There are evidences at least in the very, very, I mean, maybe dating back to even 3000 BC or 2000 BC. With people know that there is somewhere we can, I mean, they don't know the term called electricity at that time. But they know that if you put like these materials in car and if you try to assemble these kind of systems, there is a possibility of generating some kind of an energy out of it and then putting to use. Okay. Just I want to show one classical thing. There are two, these, two of these things. So this is from our, uh, like from the, you can see like, it's uh, Agastya Sabitha. So he has some idea about this. Like we used to have this idea about Vimanas and all those things, right? We never done anything in the aerospace at that time. But still we have a concept called as like, yes, we can fly. And we gave a name called as Vimana. Okay. There is no certain engineering at that time, but the idea was there. The same thing, the people have an idea like how to build something which can produce an energy and which we can put to use. So the idea what he has is that he has taken a ceramic pot or like normal pot, whatever we have, and then he has put a copper into it and some kind of a solution at that time it is typically called as copper sulphate because chemical formulas were not there. But the way he has described it is the copper sulfate. And then he has put like a separator, some sawdust on top of it. So this basically separates your anode and your cathode. And then he has used an amalgamated zinc. Amalgamation is What is amalgamation? Perfect. So it's a it's a typically an alloy. So either you can use a metal or you can still use an alloy. So amalgamated zinc is nothing but zinc and mercury put together. And then what the idea is that, see, if you put in this form, like the way the picture they are done, you can never build a battery. One thing you are actually missing, one component you are actually missing. You have a two electrodes, and all can there, something else. And you still have a separator, which may not be required if you are maintaining the distance. But however you have an electrolyte, like copper sulfate you are having. 
But then mass component actually does not see. What is that? Exactly. Yes, terminal subconductor. So basically we are not accounting for the electron transfer, if you read in this way. So this is just an imaginary thing I think some person has drawn, but I actually don't know like what exactly has been described. But he has mentioned about all these components and then the interesting thing is that he also mentioned that if you connect these things in series, if you use these kind of like 100 parts, you could usually use that whatever energy to split water into H2 and O2. Interesting. Right? The concept is there, but I never knew, I mean, I'm not sure whether actually it was put to use. But the wording was there, as I said, right? Like when we are discussing about the aerospace engineering and other things. We know about uh, Vimanas and all those stuff, but of course we do not do any kind of engineering at that point. And this is one way of understanding and at that time there is no voltages, no currents, no how, how do you measure voltage or current, right? We don't have any kind of such techniques at that time. But then still the concept was there. And it's a very old concept. We have some view that okay we can put to you and we can do we can get something out of it. Okay? Interesting. And then the one which you have on the left side, it's called a Bagdad battery. After that Wikipedia maybe takes us up. It's a very interesting again concept. This is this one they have actually obtained from the I mean when during this uh, if I'm not wrong. Iran ka Kansa civilization of that? Right? So during that civilization, right? Especially what they try to do is that they have again some kind of a normal pot, but with a copper tube and iron in it. Again, like zinc and uh, copper you can form and battery. Similar way you can actually have iron and copper together. And then they are using some kind of a facility medium in it. And doing some stuff, what they want to say is that it's a nitrochemical stuff. Again, there is no evidence about it. It is just, it is a, this is the setup which they have got. And then people also argue that if that is the setup which they have used for some kind of an acid or maybe some kind of a basic base, base system. They might have seen an electrode deposition which might be happening on the system. There is no evidence for that. So again, but we still don't know why they were using the copper iron in a pot and then it was integrated together and storing some kind of an electrolyte in it. Okay? So these are like very, very old, old. Again, there is no, no proof that they were able to bridge a ladder. And there is no proof that at that time the electricity existed. Okay? But the concepts were there. Right? And see, someone has said that initially engineering has come up and then basic science came up. And then after basic science again was discovered, later on we have re-engineered the thing and efficient systems were built. Right? So that is what the main aim or ambition of two months. Okay. That is that is what we need to do. Good. So these things we are able to do. So this one I come later on. Now what we can do is that uh, uh, we try to demonstrate uh, something with some of the basic systems. I think this is that correct? Over thirteen thousand. So what we will do is that you already know this stuff. You said like any electrical, sorry, any chemical energy converting into electrical energy is basically a battery, right? So what we will do is that we will show you a very simple experiment. I think you might have already done this experiment. Have you done any kind of electrochemical experiment during your school time? Copper Okay. Basically, like the medium and study, the medium and the study for like, I think it was for symposium or Okay. Okay. So, what we will do is that we are going to demonstrate something very simple. As I said, these are just a small experiment. Okay. You can even produce electricity, as I said, right, if you are having these four components, two conductors, I mean two electrodes, which is electrolyte solution and having the terminal, you can build a battery even from anything. Even there are people who build batteries from using fruits, using garbage. So I don't know. Yeah, guys, after YouTube, you can see the end number of videos, right? But the basics, 
basic principles are same. Okay. So what we will do is that uh, we have like a lot of time, at least one hour we have. So initially I think we will demonstrate in, in groups, demonstrate correct? Uh, that, that will be fine. That will be fine. You have to offset, then one the deviation, uh, then one and also correct. And pure and pure. Correct. So what is actually referring is that when we mean half cell, right? Someone has said like anode and cathode together, we call it as a full cell. Let's say that you have something like an anode, but then there is a dummy electrode on the other end. Then we call it as half cell. Okay? So what we will do is that we start with half cell because every metal or material for that matter has a specific potential. Have you heard about EMF series? I think maybe 11 people might have heard. Right? 10th class I don't know. First class. First class they might know. 10th class. I think 9th class you may not have heard about this. Right? And it will be said that it is very important. That's fine. So EMF series is nothing. That's a periodic table to jump to. Yes. Periodic table to jump to. So, can I take click? So, which is the area of the air? Highest reactive metal. Potassium. 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 Right? And after that? Sodium. After that? Potassium. After that? Magnesium. After that? Magnesium. After that?
अभी क्या करें ओसीपी मेजरमेंट इन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव में कुछ नहीं है ओके तो तो यहाँ मामू मोट मोट मतलब ये 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 कहने के लिए मोट मोट ये ये तो वहाँ पे जो कुछ मामले ये होते हैं बस ये एंड एंड ऐसे ऐसे हाउस एंड 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 बिटेन कुछ पॉइंट एंड 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 एंड